Today we'll be answering a viewer's question, Jack Wadika, who asked how we can turn an animation into a .gif. So the short answer to that is we can't in Blender, unfortunately, uh, but throughout this video, we'll be looking at a way that we can actually create a GIF from our animation using free tools. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. My name's Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com and today we're going to be looking at how to output a GIF uh, from Blender. Now, as I said at the beginning, Blender by default doesn't or isn't able to output a GIF. So if we go over here, let me turn that bouncing ball off. If we go over here to our render settings and find our output drop down menu, you'll see that under the file formats, there is no GIF. Technically speaking, FFmpeg uh, is able to output GIF. And that's actually what we're gonna be able to use at the end of the video. So stick around till then. Um, but by default, we're not actually able to. So if we go under encoding, you'll see there's no GIF. Uh, same with codec, no GIF. So we need to output this as something that can be read by another free open source tool called Critter. And I'll leave a link to the download of that in the description. So Critter is just an open source version of Photoshop. Very powerful, very good. If you don't have it already, I highly suggest it. So first things first, let's change this up to PNG and we're going to then render this animation out. If you are interested in learning how to do 2D animation in Blender, I have a video tutorial on how to do that, the link for which will be in the top right corner. Now to render this out, we're gonna come up here to render and render animation. Just be sure that you've set your output file in this output menu here, okay? So once that's outputted, we're going to then jump over to Critter. So let's open Critter up. And we're gonna be greeted with a screen. Now yours may look a little bit different from mine, that's okay. What we're interested in is new file. We're going to then set this new file to be the exact width and height of our Blender export. Uh, it doesn't have to be, that's just for consistency. I'm then going to create it, perfect. So it's created this uh, image for us. Now we need to get our animation into Critter. So to do that, we're gonna go up here to File, import animation frames, and then we're going to add images. Then navigate to where your image sequence was saved at, and then shift and select all the images and open. You should see now we have all of our images going one through 16, and we're going to press okay. You're gonna notice also the source FPS is set to 24. If you'd like to change that, I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Okay. Now that's going to import all the images out and there we have it. Now to set up Critter so that it's able to play this animation, let's go up here to window, workspace, animation. We're then able to change a few settings. Let's change the end frame to 16 and let's change the frame rate. Well, in my case, I'm going to choose 25. Uh, so we can press play now and let's see. There we go. We've got our animation into Critter. Now the next step is we wanna export it. To do that, we're gonna need one final thing and that is FFmpeg. So I saw, told you at the very beginning how FFmpeg supports the creation of GIFs. Well, this is actually where we're going to need to get it. So just go to ffmpeg.org. So to, I'm just gonna show you very quickly. So let's go to ffmpeg.org. So you search for ffmpeg and should be the first result. Then we're going to go down here to download and let's go to Windows Build by Zara now. And then we're going to uh, get the right architecture. So I'm gonna select the 64-bit, download the build. Now I've already downloaded it and put it on my desktop. What you get from that build is you get a zip file, this zip file here. You wanna open that up and extract it all. 
And then you want to go into this folder and under bin, you want FFmpeg. That's all we're after. Just drag that out onto the desktop and you can delete the rest if you want because we don't need them. Okay, so now that you have your FFmpeg, what we're going to do is go to File, and then we're going to go to Render Animation, and then we're going to set from Image Sequence to Video. We're going to make sure that it's all set up. We're going to find the FFmpeg's location. So find that executable's location, and then we're going to set the render as from MPEG4, which is what it's going to be set to as default, to GIF image. And then you're just going to set the video location. So I'll just do that very quickly and save it out. And I'm going to rename it uh, Ball Bounce. Excellent. And then we're just going to press OK. It's going to render them up and it's going to encode it. And then we've done. So now if I navigate to that window and I select that GIF output, let's find it. There it is. You'll see that we have a working GIF that we created in Blender and we were able to output a GIF using free software. So we used Critter as well as FFmpeg.exe. If you have any questions about, well, anything to do with Blender or any other software and that I am able to help you with, I'll get back to you, maybe create a video for you uh, like this one for Jack. So uh, thank you for the question, Jack. I hope this has been able to help you. Uh, I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. If you have, please consider giving it a like. And I'd just like to say thank you so much to everyone who has um, joined us on this journey. I can't believe that we're nearing 10,000 subscribers. So if you found this content useful or enjoyed the content at all, uh, consider hitting that subscribe and bell button to be notified on a new video's release. I, I just, I'm lost for words. I just can't believe sometimes just how how many people have subscribed. It's 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 insane. Um, my name's Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com. Signing off.